Planet Dolan. From a mirrored cube in the sky to a fairy tale style witch's house, we count 10 amazing tree houses that you can stay in today. Hi there, my name is Doopy, and I'm here to tell you some really interesting things that you might not have heard before. Number 10. If you think tree houses are just backyard structures for kids to play in, you're wrong. Some are architectural masterpieces, like Horace Burgess's ridiculously elaborate woodland condo in Tennessee. This thing is 97 feet tall and needed six trees for its base. It took over 14 years to build, and the man responsible, Minister Horace Burgess, said the idea came about after a vision from God. But this impressive structure isn't just a tourist attraction. It's also a church and, strangely enough, a basketball court. It's unofficially the largest treehouse in the world, but was unfortunately closed to the public in 2012 due to tough new fire safety codes. Number 9. Want to take your paranoia to the next level? Consider staying at Mirror Cube, the cube-shaped treehouse hotel that is completely covered in mirrors. It's practically invisible from most angles, making it great for anyone who wants a steamy secret affair, but not so great for the birds that often fly into it. The mirror cube is found outside the city in Sweden's Norrbotten County. To solve their bird suicide crisis, the Scandinavian architect Stam and Vidgard covered the outside walls with an infrared film. This means birds can see and avoid the structure, but we don't have to look at any ugly arse film because our vision is too terribly <laughs> inferior. Birds get to live, and we don't have to look at an eyesore. Everyone wins! Number 8. Want to escape the tedium of everyday life? Maybe you fancy living up there with the birds? This birdhouse-inspired structure could be just what you're looking for. Found in the quiet forest of Japan's Nagano Prefecture, this quirky treehouse allows humans and birds to live side by side. It has 78 nesting spaces for birds, and a glass wall dividing its interior so bird watchers can creepily study their feathered friends as they come and go. This treehouse was originally designed for the Momofuku Ando Center to promote nature awareness. But these days, you know, it's just full of Pokemon Go players trying to catch Articuno. Number 7. Want to spend all your time in a treehouse, but don't want to give up the luxuries like fine dining? New Zealand's Redwoods Treehouse Restaurant has you covered. This pod-shaped treehouse sits 10 meters above the ground, so put chalk on those hands and get ready for a serious climb. Or you could just use the ramp. Redwoods can comfortably seat 30 people at one time, but it's not available for casual dining. That's right, this restaurant and the trees can only be booked for intimate weddings, corporate events, and out-of-control bachelorette parties. Still, after dining up there in paradise, eating on the boring ground will never be the same. Number 6. No, this witch's house isn't Tim Burton's holiday home. It's a privately owned treehouse in Ibiza. Built by a father for his fairy tale loving son, this quirky treehouse has rustic furnishings, round portal windows, and was built in an Aleppo pine tree. It's cool and everything, but you just know all sorts of shady shit goes on in there during a full moon. I bet it goes off on Halloween. Number 5. Looking like a marriage between Hans Christian Andersen and Studio Ghibli, the Tetsu Treehouse is a charming fantasy-themed treehouse in the Japanese city of Hokuto. It was designed for the Kiyoharu Shirakaba Museum by architect Terunobu Fujimori. The Tetsu Treehouse is built upon an old cypress tree trunk and is completely surrounded by stunning purple and pink cherry blossoms. When these trees are in full bloom, the romance style turns up to 15 and visitors from all over the country flock there. Number 4. These spherical hotels in Canada look like they're from the set of a dystopian movie. Remember the one where humans destroyed the Earth's surface and have to live in pods suspended from trees? No? Maybe that's just a dream I had. Anyway, these marvels of engineering are called Free Spirit Spheres. These handcrafted spheres come in three different sizes and are accessible by a spiral staircase and a suspension bridge. They don't offer a lot of room to move around, in fact, they've been compared to the cabin of a ship, but they're perfect for those who want to get out there and live amongst nature. Number 3. After retiring at 26, software developer Joel Allen found an unusual way to pass the time. He took up carpentry and fulfilled his dream of building something cool. The result was the Hemloft Treehouse, a self-funded treehouse hideaway in Whistler, Canada. This egg-shaped beauty was primarily built using free material sourced from helpful weirdos on Craigslist. Since it was built on private government land, Joel kept this project a secret for three years. 
In the end, this personal project got him featured in international design magazines. Number 2. Ever wanted to sleep in a bird's nest but were afraid Mama Bird would peck your eyes out? This peculiar Swedish tree hotel allows you to live out your wildest avian fantasies. But no defecating on the floor! Use the bathroom, you animal! As you can see, the exterior is basically a giant bird's nest that camouflages with its surroundings, but inside is a classic timber-style luxury hotel suitable for a family of four. How do you reach the bird's nest hotel? Well, if flapping your arms doesn't work, you can always try the retractable staircase. Or you could always ask Melissa for a lift. Number 1. Got some weird alien abduction fantasies you want to live out? Hey, no judgment here. Just check out the UFO, a sci-fi themed treehouse hidden away in a Sweden forest. This out of this world hotel room hovers 6 meters off the ground and is shaped like a giant metal UFO. This luxurious hotel room can comfortably fit 5 earthlings and has all the modern amenities you'd expect from a spaceship in the sky. Beam, I mean sign me up! That was really cheesy. Speaking of cool stuff, what's the one thing you've always wanted but never got? Let us know on the Reddit page link below and you might be featured in a future countdown. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. The area also has a massive erosion problem because tourists like to wander off where they're not supposed to. To remedy this, the Peruvian government has limited the number of visitors to just 2,500 a day. Come on guys, I know they're called ruins, but that doesn't mean you have to ruin them. This is why we can't have nice things.